And a frightening tale out of Walla Walla where a girl was nearly grabbed in broad daylight. Yeah, a homeless man helped to put a stop to it. But the child's family may not even know that this happened at all. Sheena Lazara tracked down the eyewitness who helped police catch their man. Elijah said she ran all the way. A homeless man is credited with stopping a possible child abduction in Walla Walla. Wayne Curtindale saw the young girl near First and Alder on Saturday. Her pink coat passed me by while I was ignoring it. And uh, then Elijah says, wait, we're going to get you, stop or something, you know. So um, Elijah's my friend and uh, a good defender. And so I, I kind of was forced him off right there because he was, outside of our social circle. Police believe the man tried to lure her with a piece of gum. The witness says he watched the little girl run all the way down first until she was out of sight from the perpetrator. I was holding back and that's a citizen's arrest, you know. Daniel Moranis made his first appearance in Walla Walla Superior Court Tuesday. He's also homeless, with the last known address in Denver. I'm a self-employed musician and photographer. Moranis is charged with luring and criminal impersonation. Court documents say the 44-year-old man had a fake gun and a plastic police badge on him when he was caught. It's believed the victim is between 9 and 13 years old. and She has not been identified, and her family may not even know that this happened. A judge set bail at $100,000. $100,000, It's a pretty serious charge. I mean, he's trying to pick up a little little girl and lure her into wherever. But that attempt was stopped before tragedy struck. Gina Lazara, Action News. Now, the perpetrator will be arraigned in two weeks, and if found guilty, he is likely only to see a year in jail. Well, if you know who this little girl might be, police encourage you to come forward with any information you might have.